Hey everybody, welcome back. Stacy has got some unreal news she was reading to me while we were driving. And I think it is very important to talk about it. And this just came out, as far as I know. You got it yesterday? This is yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. So fill us in. So it says, and I'll quote, researchers are creating synthetic human embryos without sperms or eggs. And if you look at the report, it says, uh, and I'm not going to try to quote her name, but it's Zernikia Gotez, something like that. She even spoke to CNN. And this is what she said, quote, I just wish to stress that they are not human embryos. They are embryo models, but they are very exciting because they are very much looking like similar to human embryos and very important path to the discovery of why so many pregnancies fails and you can go on. But basically, they are creating a synthetic human embryo from stem cells without using eggs or sperm in a development that is raising challenging moral and legal questions. And I'll go into this a little bit more. But I turned around and I looked at Chris when I read this article. And this is out there. This is kind of trending right now of what's going on. So this means they're going to form humans without humans? I mean, what does this actually mean? Well, as soon as I heard you, heard the news... The first thing I thought of was they're going to create cyborgs. That will be not human, right? Or, it, you know, it's not. That'll be the ones that get the Neuralink. You know, Could why be. not? That'll be some of the first ones they can program and run off of AI. I know this is some straight up AJ, uh, really crazy stuff, but this isn't. You know, we can speculate on what they're going to do but regardless of what I think or anybody thinks it's happening and it's like you know people trying to play God is really not going to end well well I'll read you another fact that she said this Jerninka um, from her team and her research team she and her team earlier created model embryos from mouse stem cells that has showed the initial state of a brain and heart so this is research you guys that they are actively doing this isn't something that's just um, speculating or conspiracy theories. She's already come out to CNN and quoted this, and I'll give you a little bit more quotes in a few minutes. But well, I thought the world had a population problem. So You know what I mean? So why are we creating ones synthetically unless it's for a purpose? Or creating ones that they deem to be just like Hitler did. Whatever. The perfect person. The, the perfect person with all the right genetics you know, and I hope somebody puts the moral code in, you know. Uh, it, it's just, I hope it falls flat. So Peter Dane, he's an activist with the UK Reform Party, and he quoted, and there's a couple quotes I want to give you from him. This development has raised concerns about its implications. Synthetic human embryos. This falls outside the boundary of current ethical and moral consideration. He also stated many human developments with AI being another, are now overtaking the ability of society to respond and assimilate. So AI is really becoming, a matter of fact, as I read an article the other day where they said Congress is no longer even concerned with TikTok, they are extremely concerned with AI right now. Artificial intelligence has taken the front seat. And I think a lot of people are really starting to look to see what's going on. And by the way, the fertilization, fertilization of this egg, when apparently they're doing this embryo, is only supposed to be about 14 days based on what they're saying here for the See, research. I thought there was no way. There well, they no said way. when it comes to the human research, this with this fertilization of this egg, this human embryo without sperm or eggs, it's a, it's to be grown only for 14 days. I don't know, I don't completely understand it all. I'm just reading what this came out, this article, the stats that they provided and the different things. It said our team are using stem cells so they're not legally embryos, and thus they're not bound by the same rules which embryos are bound by. So if you ever go to one of those clinics that, you know, people that are trying to have kids or whatever, and you have embryos right. or whatever, you have those certain rules that are in effect. They're not bound by those same rules, which raises questions about their legality. So that opens up a whole other ballgame. So AI can, you know, I forget how many hundreds of thousands of times smarter they are than... The scientists that we have, we can take all of what it's learning from creating these things 
I don't know what their pronoun is, but you know, it, it can solve these problems so much faster. This AI is so exponential. It's growing so fast. It's generating itself. And I think they're right to put it on the front lines of the problems. TikTok is, you know, why be concerned about a Chinese data mining app when AI is legitimately taking over? Well, they said also one of the good side effects was going to hopefully help with people that don't understand why they can't get pregnant and different things like that. But Peter Dane, the guy that I guess has been speaking out in the UK, he stressed the need to proceed cautiously, carefully, and transparently. He said to avoid a, quote, chilling effect among the public. I mean, you guys, they know that this is a really sensitive um, topic. And they've even said researchers from China have experimented with implanting these synthetic embryos in monkey cells. So this is happening, you guys. I don't know a whole lot of detail. I've tried to find out a little bit more, but there's well, not a lot out there. Well, okay. So China is real big into organ harvesting. Why wouldn't they be farming organs? That's one. I could see that in New York second. You could know, be. Growing them. It's just moral hazard to the 10th degree. But anyway, that's, well, that's one in of the, the mail. <laughs> that's one of the articles. You guys, if you guys know anything about this or you can find anything about this, let me know. Because I tried to do some research on it. It's very limited what's out there. But this is out there. They are actively doing this right now. And um, so we'll see kind of where this... Yeah, and they say, oh, well, we understand how bad it could be. But that's not going to stop them from going ahead and doing it, you know? Well, it seemed to be, so on the great. research that I could find, is it all seemed to be it was going to help people. It's all in the name of helping people that can't get pregnant sure. or they don't understand why they can get pregnant or different things like that or, or children that have certain issues or the, the genes. or It all seemed to be in a good faith effort to look good. But you guys, if they're creating stem embryos without sperm or eggs, they're creating the perfect human being without us being involved. Yeah, I doubt it's perfect. Only God makes things perfect. I agree to that. All so, right. So, um, I think that's probably enough. We're fixing to get off the end of the road here. Uh, guys, we just wanted to share that with you. Let me know what you think. Uh, we've got more stories to cover, and none of them are fun to talk about, but this is important information. And let me know how you think this could go which direction it could go and some of the things that I've missed I've just learned about it just like you but your comments are awesome you guys are intelligent you've got really good ideas and a lot of the things we talk about in the comments the things you bring up happen you know it actually we're right so please let me know what you think and have an awesome awesome day later